my dear Sagittarius, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of September with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. This will be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this side is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. And I usually read for the empath side of the story within this dynamic, but also remember that the other person holds up a mirror of your shadow. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And if you want to watch the channel's readings in advance and free from ads, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. I can also recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for August because that's the energy right now and this will be the prediction for September. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. When I open your deck here, I see the Temperance card together with King of Cups in the reversed. Uh, so I'm seeing someone kind of loving you against their will. Uh, they don't want to be attracted to you. They don't want to have a place for you in their heart, but they do. So complicated. It usually points to our spiritual growth that if they are with you, they will grow. Uh, but they don't want to grow. <laughs> they want to have their own free will and do whatever the age they want with their life. Okay. So I call the divine with love and light. And I think this is what they want to do with their life. They want to have a little bit lopsided relationships uh, for some reasons okay they might want to be put on a pedestal in their relationships like be treated as they were a little bit special um, it's not because they need um, you know to be cuddled or anything like that I think it has to do uh, a little bit with power um, and this person might take power over other humans through their emotions so they don't want to have this emotions themselves but pointing to them being a king of cups uh, I think this person uh, is very emotional they're just trying to hide it for themselves and others uh, it might be a fear that they have uh, to be close to their own authentic self so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world two of swords yeah it's just saying what I just said uh, that this person doesn't want to see their own emotions, doesn't want to deal with their own emotions. They want you to have a lot of emotion. Maybe they even want you to be over dramatic, sad, crying, things like this, ups uh, upset. <laughs> and but them themselves can say, ah, uh, I can see that you are dramatic and you are upset, but I don't have these kind of feelings, so I don't understand why you are acting this way. <laughs> so it's really just a big, big act. Okay. Um, they might hope, <laughs> they can hope that they don't have this, but um, they are only trying to make you dramatic so them themselves doesn't have to display these feelings which they are scared of. So, six elements, seven of swords, seven of wands, uh, king of cups. Um, hmm. Sevens are spiritual challenges. We can see that this person is challenged when it comes to being authentic. And when it comes to what they are fighting for, they might be fighting against you when they really should fight for you. They might lie to you when they sh really should t tell you the truth. Like everything would be so much more simple if they just, you know, went with what was right instead of um, complicating things with, you know, fighting this um, um, <laughs> like it's an invincible battle towards invincible uh, enemies or people that is like all, only in their head. Uh, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't know exactly what this is. It might be you actually trying, escaping some kind of prison. Have they put you in prison with this relationship or with taking charge over your emotions or playing your emotion like a violin? Okay. Six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Sagittarius viewers. 
oh, yeah, you can play this game, you too. It's no problem. <laughs> I can also ignore my feelings and pretend like I don't love you and that you are not the uh, most important person in my life. So uh, good on you, Sagittarius. <laughs> I think this is the exact way uh, you actually need to deal with this type of person. You can't let them play you. Uh, it's um, it's not healthy for anyone. You will get exhausted because you will be drained of your own energy with this person, you know, playing with your mind, uh, and and they will never find their true self. They will be able to like uh, creep around in the shadows with like this cloak on, <laughs> uh, black clothes. I'm seeing them. Uh, so that's not good for them either. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will just tune in. For a few seconds to you and the person most on your mind and uh, your relationship in September. So this is the new bottom of the deck and we have a five of wands so battle. Um, it's really a love story but uh, since they brought battle to your doorstep you are prepared to compete with them. So that's what I'm seeing. And this is the old bottom. Uh, two of swords. It's like pretending. And when you say, I think it's like this. And they say, no, nah, I don't know what, where you get that from. It's not like this at all. And don't think that I feel like this for you. or feel like that for you. Uh, don't think that I'm the fool for you. Um, ugh, um, it's uncomfortable energy. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is... Uh, what's on your mind about the person most on your mind uh, the situation and this relationship what's on their mind with you and this is uh, your feelings towards them the bond between you two their feelings towards you uh, this is uh, your behaviors and attitudes the outcome for september and their behaviors and attitudes so start with the situation two of wands in the reversed and uh, i'm thinking you're trying to ignore this person we saw the king of pentacles knight of swords kind of energy um like see if i care riding away in the sunset uh, so putting boundaries and trying to not care about this person and um, oh, putting your love in your pocket and still riding away it's um I think you love this person and you think that they love you, but you have no proof for this. So you're deciding to not work on this angle um, that you might have been working on before. Now you just, you give up this uh, situation or this, uh, this dream because it doesn't seem to add up with reality. And this is the other person's view on this. It's a disaster for them. Um, they felt really nice as long as they had you... Uh, like in their power, um, then they felt uh, as if everything was going all right. And um, then um, you, you said, no, stop. Uh, I don't want to play this game anymore. Uh, you are not uh, giving me enough. You are not being authentic. I can't see real effort from your side. Uh, so I'm just saying no, or I'm uninterested in this. It's um, have lost its appeal. Uh, and then it's like a you know, cold shower for this person. I feel like it hits me like uh, ice over my head, like an ice bucket <laughs> over my head. Uh, so I think they are really shocked because they had um, this power over you and that made them feel safe. And now they don't feel safe at all. And now they probably feel a little bit what you have been feeling all along uh, with, you know, uh, suspecting uh, that they don't love you. This person definitely doesn't suspect that you don't love them anymore and that you just stopped uh, this is the bond between you two and it shows strength and i'm thinking this is what you are showing in this situation and this is also what you want them to show you want them to be like a real authentic person that's uh, you know fighting for what's good and true and right in this uh, this life you know standing up for love standing up for honor standing up for being a good person an adult person a mature person so we'll see and um, wheel of fortune in the reverse that was a little bit unfortunate i want to see their feelings as well four of swords okay uh, so it's the, it seems like this what you have done haven't really helped uh, with the 
imbalance dynamic that you have. Uh, this person can still a little bit ignore their feelings. Um, it's obvious to anyone who sees them. They will be white as a sheet in their face and might uh, suddenly get a lot of physical symptoms. Like I suddenly have a lot of, uh, um, I don't know, my heart races or, you know, it can be, I have really, I need to go to the emergency room because I have so much uh, stomach ache. Uh, but <laughs> on a surface level or for themselves, they can pretend as if they don't care. You care, however, and you have a little bit hard time to let this go. It might be that it's also still, um, how can we say, it's an ongoing process. It's more to be learned from this situation. Your soul doesn't want to let go just yet. This is like your soul taking in your body and saying, hey, we can't leave just yet or I can't uh, let myself fall out of love with this person because there's more things that needs to be done and neither of which this person are thinking of doing. They just don't want to do any job at all. Um, they don't want to put their best foot forward or try to be better or behave in better ways. They just want to close themselves off. And um, maybe try to look a little bit sicker so you might pity them and come back. I don't know <laughs> what they are trying. Okay. Uh, so this is your behaviors and attitudes. Ah, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Sagittarius in the reverse. Um, it kind of shows that you still, you haven't, you are not able to lose interest in this person. Um, so you might sneak into the back door and come and save them again. Try to save them. Don't save this person. Uh, they don't need to be saved. Save yourself and let them save them. Um, the more you try to save this person, the more they will self-destruct and destroy the relationship so you can save them even more. It makes them feel very comfortable when they don't have to take responsibility for their own action when someone else fixes what they have broken. So don't go and save them, okay? It's not good for either one of you. Uh, this is their behaviors and attitudes. Uh, seven of swords. So I think this is a like a longer project with, where this person will uh, continue going in the wrong direction against all proofs and like building up against them and saying, hey, it's the wrong direction. Don't go this way. There are signs. There are like policemen standing like this. Their own health is saying, no, this is not, don't do this. It's uh, horrible. Um, and um, they still, you know, um, stick to their guns. And um, uh, so it's um, it's uh, the ego trying to survive. The ego is here to try to make your body being alive through your whole life. So you your soul is able to learn what it came to learn. Uh, but sometimes the ego takes over the whole show and and kind of um, um, it um, it pu pushes out the soul <laughs> from the from the body. And um, so this person gets really cold, isolated, stubborn, uh, doesn't follow their heart. It's not uh, open to impulses from spirit or other people or empath like empathic impulses or feeling of, uh, OK, I understand you. I will try to do better. No, nothing like that. And and uh, it's like a, a f um, protection over mode. It's like it has um, fallen over to ex the extreme. Uh, and th this person, um, like whatever happens to them, they are very extreme in their way of protecting themselves. And they need to, like their ego needs to fall and fall and fall, like with the tower here, again and again and again and again, so that they can prove to themselves that this is not the right way. Maybe cooperation, openness, um, being authentic, being um, like loving towards other people are the right way to go. But first, they need to disprove themselves that they are not right in the way they're doing things right now. So um, outcome is <laughs> working together. You still have a project. Uh, and um, we saw in the beginning like this person really being into you, but refusing to feel that way. So know that they feel that way. Um, you know that you are into them, but you don't want to because it's... Um, uh, it seems like it's um, illogic um, since this person isn't really acting like they love you to the moon and back. So, um, but your soul is stubborn. It's also al already in your body. Uh, so you are being able to see the road signs and 
feel the right kind of feelings that are appropriate to the situation. So at least someone is um, in tuned, but it doesn't really help because there needs to be two to tango. So as long as this person is acting like this, uh, nothing good will come uh, out of this situation. So this is what they want to say to you. I need you in my life. We can see the coloring here. Um, so um, they really uh, resisted this change, whatever happened there. They didn't want to lose you. I had to be brutally honest. I think here they are playing a game. They are not honest at all. Uh, it's like they're trying to ignore you and saying things that uh, makes them makes you feel like they don't care. And, and this with brutally honest, it's only a game. Um, it's a game to get you to chase them uh, is what I'm feeling here. And this is, um, I'm sorry that I took you for granted. Uh, this is a, like a little bit message from their soul that unfortunately I'm still going in the wrong direction. I'm sorry I did this to you. I can't help myself. <laughs> so it's a little bit what, I, what they want to say. And I want to see your perspective uh, from this as well. Uh, this person is in their own head as well. Okay, so from your perspective then. I never wanted to hurt you. Um, so you probably feel like you can feel maybe a little bit um, guilty if this person gets sick when you uh, said no to them or broke up with them. But they are acting like they were the one who was brutally honest. But I don't think that's true. So you didn't want to hurt them. You just needed to tell them the truth because things wasn't working out. I'm walking through the dark night of my soul. Uh, it might feel like that, but I think uh, you're only walking there because this other person made you feel very bad about yourself, your life, your um, like that the, the relationship didn't work out and things didn't become in the way that um, you wanted to. I think if you are taking a pause or a break from this person, you will feel much better. Uh, the dark night of the soul is a good thing. It's what this person needs and they are going into it because we have the tower here. Four of swords, seven of swords. Um, it's when you have a real bad strike of like bad luck, but it's because your soul and the divine want to put you in the right direction since you're going in the wrong direction. So you might feel like it's you that's being um, being hit with bad luck, but <laughs> it's we have the bad luck card here as well. But the only bad luck is <laughs> that you fell in love with a person that you felt like you needed to fix them. Stop fixing them and uh, stop being with them for now uh, and your bad luck will, you know, halt. It will stop. I can't forgive. Love is too dangerous. Um, I definitely feel you are kind of mirroring this person here because I see you being all about forgiveness. But maybe this is what you want to take on. And I think fake it till you make it. Um, say, I can't forgive. Love is too dangerous. I'm not going to be with you. <laughs> I think that's... a uh, um, ter terrific um, <laughs> defense in this case because I'm seeing you running a little bit weak on me but it's also because the divine says that there's still work to be done but no work can be done with this person as of now because they are going in the wrong direction let them go in the wrong direction you know uh, continue falling and falling 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 downhill here uh, you know hurting themselves <laughs> continue falling doing stupid things falling 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 it's good for them, okay? So take a little bit of vacation. Say to yourself that uh, I can never forgive this person. They did such awful things. So I can never be with them again. And love is too dangerous. <laughs> so that's good because that will help you uh, to take a pause in this relationship and uh, uh, to not uh, engage because they don't need your engagement. They need to, you know, fall on their face repeatedly uh, until they see that, uh, this is not a good way forward. Uh, you need to be loving and authentic. High lady of love and compassion. Uh, towards your fellow humans. Uh, in other case you will fall and hurt yourself. Because karma will kick your ass. Okay. It's not really re like revenge or punishment. It's just consequences. If you're angry and hateful. Angry and hateful things will happen to you. Oh. High lady of love and compassion. Okay. So this is more about describing what this person is where they need to reach and what you might have a little bit too much of maybe and you need to you know be a little bit more like this <laughs> love is too dangerous don't go there okay 
so when the high lady of love and compassion chooses to be your ally she brings you a deep and meaningful message she reminds you that only love is real it is the soul unconditional and true power behind all means of manifestation out of the unseen into the material and this is kind of what you know so therefore you want to run back with love and fix this person so you can be together in love and you know hold each other's hand and skip it is uh, through a nice melody with a nice melody in the background into the sunset um love's greatest creative power is ignited by the conscious action of compassion uh, but in this your case it's kind of leading a little bit to codependency so uh, that's why i think this i can't forgive is very good um let's see here uh, generosity of the heart reverence respect and empathy for all living things brings you profound power to live a life of happiness and contentment love compassion and kindness to all must be the impulse behind your thoughts feelings and actions when your intention is to create a prosperous and abundant life unconditional love will be returned tenfold and that is true but unconditional love um, needs to come from a person that actually loves themselves and put themselves in high esteem and in high respect because after all you are a beautiful um soul uh, incarnated here on earth uh, you are like much more profound than you will ever believe and if you drag yourself in the dirt for someone else that's not love uh, that is disrespect to your own soul that's also disrespect towards the other person letting them treat you like this uh, it's not um, it's not love here needs a little bit more tough love but the high lady also reminds you that when she chooses to be your ally, she brings you evidence that you are loved. All manner of synchronicity align in your favor. If your question refers to a relationship, you're required to think of the other person and inquire what is in his or her highest good. Uh, give without asking or for or expecting anything in return and let go. What is yours will come to you. Kindness always returns somehow. You will surely receive that which you give in more ways than you can imagine um so and this is um, um so that's um, kind of what you are already doing and a little bit too much so you have become codependent to this other energy um yes uh, she reminds you the high lady of love and compassion to snap out of your self-centeredness the ego has set a sneaky trap for you you may have forgotten that to create an abundant life you must be conscious of how your choices impact those around you. Are you trying to manipulate others to get what you want without consideration for them? It is possible that your good intentions are about helping too much. This is to you. Enabling another person to remain the same and preventing his or her growth. So now you need to prevent yourself from preventing their growth. Uh, sometimes it's better to let others hit bottom with their own suffering rather than trying to make it easier for them. Sometimes you need to be cruel to be kind. Be conscious that you aren't alone in this world. Uh, begin to behave as if the God in all life, in every person matters. Remember that the living world is a sacred community and you are a magical and important part of it. But you're not the only one who counts. The High Lady of Love and Compassion is waiting to guide you and be your friend. Think first of others and she will orchestrate your ultimate success. Um, and uh, that's... Uh, very good when we are talking towards a person that have problem to care for others, others but when we are talking to a person that's almost addicted to care for others that's like really toxic words uh, so you need to be able to um, determine which side you are on um, it can seem as a little bit romantic and all selfless uh, to care too much for others but it's really just selfish because one you are dishonoring yourself uh, you are spoiling another person, taking away their own responsibility for them, making them a hopeless screw up. OK, so that's not very nice. Uh, and also it's um, uh, it's enabling people uh, to do really stupid things in the world. For example, if you love a person to bits and pieces, even if they are the worst person ever hurting people around them, you are enabling them to continue hurting people around them. If they actually get the consequences of their own actions, and they will probably stop what they are doing and, you know, start to behave a little bit better in the world. So that's where you come in. Um, okay. <laughs> so 
uh, calling in your soulmate lets your friends help you <laughs> okay kind of says uh, the opposite like this person is your soulmate and you need to help them because they are helpless on their own um, but uh, it's not uh, really like that calling in your soulmate I think that uh, what we are seeing here is that you have as I saw already you still have a connection with this person it's not going to go away it's just that this connection needs to be in another way it, it, you need to stop enabling this person and, and be more strict with this person uh, so if you are going to help this person you need to do so by telling them the truth uh, by not accepting bad behavior uh, by not rewarding um, you know, stupid actions that's kind of mean and things similar to that. Uh, so uh, this person needs help by like the people that loves them needs to show them when they are doing things that's a little bit wrong, uh, when they are doing things that's not helpful. It's not about hating the person. Uh, it's just saying uh, this doesn't really work for me. Um, and if you're going to continue doing that, uh, I think we can skip Friday night dinner. <laughs> so, like, give a little bit consequence. Don't be such a pushover, Sagittarius, uh, just because you want progress and success. It's not going to come uh, without the groundwork. The groundwork needs to be done first. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing one of your candles have suffocated itself on itself. It's the left one so it's the feminine side it glows a little but very low um so i'm thinking it's something going on here it's a little bit messy here it was crystal clear you said okay uh, this is not working uh, i have only seen seem to made up an illusion of what what was what was but it's not really there but then you're it's like you're on overdrive uh, taking care of other people uh, even if it's not healthy so try to snap out of it we need a little bit more light here okay <laughs> so i would urge you to watch your reading their true thoughts and feelings in their true thoughts and feelings playlist that will probably tell you more about this story or the reading your next relationship from the who is coming towards you playlist you can also watch the next three months love prediction to get a longer perspective into october uh, on my first channel page, there's a playlist for your specific astrological sign with the latest videos to watch. If you want to watch the channel's readings in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye.